Good morning, March 12th. Nothing else matters. What then shall we say to these things? If God is for us, who can be against us? Romans chapter 8, verse 31. March Madness is here. How we love to fill the stands and shout cheers for our team and jeers against our opponent. Everyone knows which team fans are for and who they are against by the colors they wear and the cheers they chant. Today, Paul asks us to consider the fact that God is our greatest fan. The question is, if God is for us, who can be against us? In other words, God is for us. It doesn't matter who or what is against us. No one can take away your salvation. No one can shut off God's love for you or foil God's plan for you. If anyone were able to do any of those things, he or she would have to be greater than God himself. Even the powers of hell may set themselves against you, but they will not prevail. Why? Because God is greater and he is on your side. In his question, Paul is assuming a positive answer. If God be for us, no one can be against us. If God be for us, nothing else matters. Is it not wonderful news to believe that salvation lies outside ourselves? Martin Luther Good evening, true love. Love must be sincere. Romans chapter 12, verse 9. The word love is probably the most used and least understood word in any language. It has been used about art, food, and leisure time activities. It is even used in connection with clothes and cars. When you tell people that you love them, it would be beneficial to consider the actual depth of your love. To what lengths would you go and what sacrifices would you be willing to make for the sake of love? Jesus Christ came to demonstrate the meaning of true love when he willingly gave his life for all of humanity. He was willing to die for all of us and to take our punishment upon himself to redeem us from our sinfulness. As he said, greater love has no one than this, that he laid down his life for his friends. John chapter 15, verse 13. True love involves making sacrifices for the sake of another. It is tolerant, patient, and understanding. Even in the most trying circumstances, it involves forgiveness and giving of yourself for the benefit of others. It means to love others as Jesus loves you.